to check on those certificates. Go! An all points bulletin for ducks at Disneyland, you quickly find that birds of a feather actually do stick together. And not only that, but it seems that the long lost winged friends had a score to settle on the gridiron. Donald and distant relative Oregon Duck ran through a couple of plays from scrimmage, most likely a wing T formation here. And yes, a nicely run fly pattern gets the Oregon yell leader open for a reception from Donald. Like it. Go, go, go. All right. Go. What made today special is that in the history of this 40 year old theme park, today marked the first time ever that any mascot has been allowed inside the Magic Kingdom. The relationship is so unique with the University of Oregon that we made a special, a special case to allow the, uh, the Oregon duck to come in today. And I think uh, the Oregon fans that were here really enjoyed it. Walt Disney gave his okay with a handshake back in 1947 with then Oregon Athletic Director Leo Harris. And from that point on, any other college mascot bearing the likeness of a Disney character would be a foul, in a manner of speaking. What this means is that you won't see a Rochester Roger Rabbit, no Grambling Goofies, and never a Chippewa Chippendale anytime in the near future. So, which is the only school in the country with a mascot fashioned after a Disney character? No. Can't, <laughs> no. can't think of anyone? I know. Thanks for playing. One. And that is? The duck. Ding, 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 ding. Which only leaves us with one question. Why is the Oregon duck so much bigger than his distant relative, Donald? Puffed up over the years, you know. He's gotten a little stronger than Donald. Would you say steroids had anything to do with it? No, no, no. no we have random drug testing for our uh, for our mascots at U of O. At Disneyland, Ken Ackerman, the 10 o'clock.